What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop. So park your ass right there. And while you're there, go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And let's keep this thing moving. All right, so today, I'm going to save you guys from the Kanye presidents of the world. Give you something to do. Go to Netflix, hit up the search tab, and look for something called Don't F with cats. So you already know what the explicit word is in the place of F, if you catch my drift. Don't F with cats. Uh, I think it's a, they have a sub name too. Hold on, give me a second real quick. I think it's like um, searching for an internet killer or something. Uh, yeah, hunting for, hunting an internet killer. So it's called Don't F with cats, hunting an internet killer. Now, right now, I'm gonna warn you guys off top, this is going to be a straight up discussion. I'm not going to hold back any spoilers. It's, it's a documentary. So I'm not going to hold back any spoilers because it's, to me, it's kind of pointless to, to, to rate a documentary. Uh, I'd rather just talk about it, about what I, I saw and uh, experienced for myself. Now, this documentary follows this young girl on Facebook playing Facebook detective after a man posts this video up online about him killing cats, right? So it started this whole Facebook group where they wanted to find out the identity of this man. So they go on this huge manhunt, scavenging the internet, trying to find out who this dude is. Now, most people were simple. They're like, oh, well, who is this guy? Does anybody know who he is? You know, nobody's going to say, I don't know who he is. So they end up looking for other things, other clues. Let's find, let's look for clues in the background and try to see where this person is from. Let's see if this person is in, even in the United States. Let's see if he's somewhere else. Let's see if he might be in Zimbabwe. He might be in Germany. He might be in Australia. Who knows, right? We need to find out. This man is killing cats, and we need to stop this. So this documentary follows this young lady from her MySpace, MySpace <laughs> Facebook days. She, starts a face, they, she joins a Facebook group. All these people are coming together trying to figure out who this person is. They're playing straight-up Scooby-Doo mystery gang trying to find it out. Guess who, clue, all that. So this eventually leads to them kind of, so then eventually the dude that kills the cats finds out that who these people are. So he starts taunting them. He starts toying with them. He starts sending them clues and information and kind of like ha ha poking at them, right? And they're getting upset because this guy's taunting us and we don't know who he is. So they're starting to get good clues and starting to find out, okay, well, they're kind of finding out who he is. Now, when outside sources become involved with the investigation because the kill, the kill, the cat killer keeps, he uploads more videos of him killing cats. I think two more after that. And what ends up happening, more organizations and people get involved and ends up dampering, uh, like tampering the, the whole thing. They end up blaming somebody who didn't do anything and they had this whole online harassment thing and they harassed this man and it turned out that it wasn't even him so things went left real quick so what happens is this young lady and a trusted few people from that my, from that facebook group break off and then start a new group and just focus solely on finding out who this guy is so what they're worried about is that eventually this man killing cats would turn into something worse he would start going after people boy were there conclusion right so he goes into this whole they 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 keep investigating investigating this guy they try to contact local uh pd in the area because they finally find out that this man is from canada he taunts them with enough things and eventually they're able to put the evidence together and find out that this man is from canada all right so he's from canada and they have the local PD and they hit him up and tell him, hey, man, you know what? We found this person. He's here. Go check it out. They go check it out. They end up saying, oh, apparently this guy moved and left somewhere. Right. Long story short, this man kills somebody and he records it just like he recorded him killing the cats. Now, at first, when I'm watching this, I'm like, I'm starting to get a thought. I'm like, man, this seems familiar. Like, I feel like I've heard this before. I wonder if this is that weird video that came out in the 2000s about that guy killing somebody on uh killing somebody on camera and putting it online 
Ding, 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 ding. Yep, it was true. This whole documentary is about the one, one, psych, one maniac and one ice pick video that came out a long time ago that was like viral on the internet. This is about that killer. So he ends up killing this person and then it goes from a Facebook investigation and then it turns over to the law enforcement side and then it talks about how law enforcement is trying to track this guy down. Now, the whole thing that gets me is that these people on Facebook are doing a, they're doing a magnificent job on some detective shit, like really trying to track this person down. Like they did a really good job of turning nothing into something. And they tried to collaborate with local law enforcement, but they didn't take them serious. I mean, these people are literally going down streets on Google map, trying to locate, uh, a, a picture that this guy had trying to find out the exact spot where he took the picture at. Like there was a huge amount of dedication and this killer honestly was, he threatened one of the uh, members of the group with uh, uploading a video with him at one of her, uh, at her job facility. Cause she worked at a casino in Nevada and she gets scared and she kind of backs off off of the case. Uh, but long story short, uh, the, when it switches over to the law enforcement side, they talk about chasing this man all over Europe, how he got out of Canada, went to Europe, and they start chasing him all over Europe, and, and then eventually how he was caught in the end, right? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. This documentary was very interesting. Like, it's honestly something really cool to watch. If you're into, like, serial killer documentaries and, like, uh, mystery documentaries and things like that, you're really gonna enjoy this. I mean, I put a kind of like a real quick quote on, uh, quote on top of it. It kind of like went over initially what the whole documentary is about. But at the same time, like trust when I say that this documentary is pretty interesting and it's worth your time. I think it's about four or five episodes, about an hour a piece. Uh, it goes from the beginning of the investigation and how it uh, eventually became what it became at the end. Now, this talk, uh, the one thing I found interesting about it is how it dives into the psyche of it. Some of the psyche of um, how serial killers are created, they talk about how they torture animals, right? And how when they were a child, they were alone or they spent a lot of time by themselves or they were outcasts, they were pariahs and things like that. And usually how maybe they, were, they didn't have a father in the home. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, all these things apply to this man in this documentary. It was a very, very interesting documentary. It's worth the watch if you enjoy, like, serial killer, crime, mystery type things. You'll enjoy it a lot. Trust when I say that this, I didn't do any injustice right now talking about it. It's something that you got to watch for yourself. You got to watch the great lengths that these people go through in order to investigate this guy and try to find out who he is and all the little details and things that they take from something as simple as a picture in order to identify this man and how initially some random people on Facebook did a better investigation than the law enforcement agencies in Canada, right? So when you get a minute, go on to Netflix, type it in, check it out. Trust me, it's worth it. This is Davey from the 80s and you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button or else. And I'll see you next time. Adios.